my top five tips for dealing with menopause. Um, keeping active, so working out, would definitely be one of the most important things that releases happy endorphins. Wine, <laughs> I mean, that has to be up there, right? Just wine. <laughs> I think being a mum of two very young children, wine o'clock happens a lot more frequently. Um, obviously, femoral would be in my top five. Um, femoral, I take the, the pink ones, which are quite nicely goes to my top. Um, it helps me feel recharged. Um, eating right, getting the right foods, the right vitamins and minerals. Um, you know, I used to be very anti-carbs and anti-sweet stuff and things like that. And I think that now it's like everything in moderation um, because you shouldn't really get rid of anything out of your diet and everything's there for a reason. Oh gosh, I mean the last one. Oh, a top tip would be to appreciate that your body's going to change. It's going to change um, mentally. Um, it's going to change physically. Okay, I might, I'm not sitting here saying, oh my God, I've got really fat. But what I am saying is that my weight now gets distributed very, very slightly different. And that things that maybe would have fit me in the past, um, it doesn't fit me now. And it's not because I've put on 10 stone, it's because my weight goes to different areas because my hormones are different and different hormones play a role in how your body distributes fat.